Hello to all the peoples of Nandalore and welcome to the channel. Hey, I got something new for you. Not just new, but massively new. Before we get started, let's get the YouTube malarkey out of the way first. If you enjoy the content and want to support the channel, the easiest and free way is to smash that like button and share the video on your social media. And leave a comment on the video as it turns out that the YouTube algorithm really loves that sort of thing. If you want to support the channel directly or tip me for my mod work, use that Ko-Fi link found in the description. On Ko-Fi you can do a one-time tip or join there as a channel member. Otherwise, smack that join button or the thanks button below the video. Okay, that stuff is out of the way. Roll that intro. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. Okay, so what have I got for you? First, let's get those requirements things out of the way. This image tells you everything you need to know. These are hard requirements that you must have for this mod to work for you. This mod is available for download on PC and only on Shaken Mods. This is a replacer for the Nordic Carved Armor Shield and Helmet. They have custom textures and both the male and female models are both high poly. We'll take a look at the female armors first. Oh, did I say armors? Yes, yes I did. Other than just replacing the vanilla armor, this mod gives you options. For just the vanilla armors, there are four colors, blue, green, purple, and red that you can craft. But there's also versions with white fur in each of the different colors. But I didn't stop there because I am a goddamn lunatic. Do you think I'm a lunatic? Leave a comment below the video and let me know. I also made a medium armor version, which is a little bit lower armor rating than the heavy armor version. This version's meshes come from Tiwa 44 Spice Gear and comes in the custom colors and can only be crafted at the forge. In addition to replacing the carved Nordic helmet and that with custom colors, there is also a custom circulate which is included with the mod and it is also beast race compatible. The medium armor however does not have white fur versions as the mesh has had all of the fur parts removed. But wait, there is more. You're a maniac, a complete nutcase. Yes, yes I am, but you love it. The mod also includes a light version of the armor, which also comes in the four custom colors with white fur versions for each as well. The mod comes in CBBE and the three BA body types, packed in a handy foam mod, including the body slide files. The plugin is marked as an ESPFE, which basically means it's an ESL flagged plugin and won't affect your mod limit on PC. This particular mesh mashup comes from pieces from Brando and is marked as light armor. The mod is survival mode and frostfall compatible. The male armors only come in one version across the whole mod, however, but it does come in the various colors and white fur versions are also included. I just figured if I was going to do a replacer like this, I should also do the male versions of the armor. One of the things that really irked the shit out of me is when I find an armor that is pretty damn awesome for females, but there isn't a male version of it at all. Even if it is just the vanilla meshes, having a male version just works in my opinion. But wait, I'm not done. Yes, there is more. Once you can gain access to Severn Manor and Raven Rock after completing the required quests, roll that narrow ass to Severn Manor. Go on down to the crafting room where the forge is. I put a chest down here which contains everything you need to craft the armors. Plus, this chest also contains full sets of the armor which are one piece armor sets which include the boots and gauntlets. Everything can be enchanted with any enchantment you want as well. Going to the forge, you're going to need to have the requirements to craft Nordic carved armor, which is the advanced armors perk, quicksilver ingots, steel ingots, and some other shit. 
Oh, and some gold. Because, you know, you're going to have to pay for it. I should note that the versions of different colors of the armors also require certain types of gemstones. Good thing I put all that shit in that chest, isn't it? Now, here's the thing. Not only can you craft the one piece full sets, but you can also craft each and every piece separately. So you can mix and match the armors or even different types of armors. You want skimpy Nordic carved light armor, but want to have clunky dwarven boots? Go ahead and do it. The options could be endless. It's all up to you. Everything can also be improved on the workbench normally with the typical requirements. Do you guys want to see more replacement armor mods like this? Leave a comment below the video and let me know. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button and share the mod on your social media. I'll leave a comment if you like this mod so I know I'm not just talking to the wind. Till next time guys, keep your sword sharp, don't be a milk drinker, and always watch the skies, traveler.